No well, my dear. Just a glance at her, and all I see is pain. She rolls and travels like a woman in labor. Their traditional treatment is not effective, yet, they refuse to seek medical attention. What are the reasons, and what are you going to do now? My father does not believe in orthodox medicines. And that is what is killing my mother. I have told him my intention to bring in a medical doctor to diagnose my mother and find out what is killing my mother. But he blatantly refused. You know how superstitious your father is. A traditionalist, he calls himself. But he'll have to break the rule for the sake of my mother. I can no longer bear the agony and watch my mom die in pain slowly. Because of some archaic belief, I will not. Take it easy. Easy, my love. Easy, okay? One step at a time, you know. It is a very delicate issue. I'll take it easy, my dear. All I want from you is a kiss to soothe the pain in my heart. No, a hug will be better for you now. medical care. Yet you have refused her. My heart breaks. Whenever I see her wail and groan in pain. She's my wife. And I'm equally heartbroken. I insist. Tradition is tradition. Priestess Unma was chosen by the oracles to attend to the queen. It's just a matter of time, she will be cured. And don't forget, no royal in this kingdom has ever died under the traditional care of the priestess. Um, Bona? Yes, my lord. Call me the priestess. She is in the queen's chamber. Greetings, your highness. Greetings, my elders. Greetings. What news do you have for us, priestess? The oracles have revealed to me a new head and I know this one will work. 
Your Highness. Good news. Our Queen will be healed. There will be royal feasting all over the place. Very well then. Very well. All over the land. There will be no more revelations. Do you have feelings at all? I am talking about my alien mother. And you are thinking of a royal feast? Calm down, my son. Calm down. Father, your elders are disappointing me. Princess Oluma does not impress me either. Are you forgetting something? That I am the king, and I do condemn and appraise. The subject here is not about your appraisal or condemnation. But my ailing mother, the queen. Be careful, son. He is the king. And he has the rights and decisions. The oracles have spoken. Get him your oracles. Get him your powerless, outmoded oracles. I will seek medical care. And you dare not stand in my way. Watch your tongue, young man. That sucks. You will not be able to bear the consequence. I dare you. I will to examine you. It's a hopeless situation. My son, is your father aware? Traditionally, no man apart from my husband comes to my chamber, let alone touch me. Mother. I will do everything I can to save her life, her precious life. Oh, mother, to hell with traditions and customs, to hell with the priestess. I will fight for her desires, cause I am bold and courageous. Oh, it's barbary traditions of modern. Customs, they're living in the past, and it's costing their lives. Oh, my friends, doctor, please take a seat. Are more dead customs, they're living in the What is wrong with my mother? After examining your mother. 
I realize she has cancer of the cervix. What? The cancer has reached a stage where chemotherapy can no longer cure her. To be candid with you, my prince, your mother has few days to live on earth. The cancer has destroyed her womb and has affected some vital organs in her stomach. What about the pain? Give me some strong painkillers. Here you are, my friends. You administer it every four hours. Thank you very much, Doctor. Please take this for the trouble. My friends, I don't need the money. But I will advise that you stay strong and brave. And also to get closer to your mother in this her last trying moment. Take my leave. I'm going to be strong. But to think that my father will allow some stupid traditional beliefs to kill my mother. It hurts me. Why do you allow your traditional beliefs and commitments get to you so much to sacrifice the woman you loved and married? Why? Why, Father? Sonny, how dare you insult my beliefs, the misery of this wailing woman outweighs your traditional beliefs and commitments? She has cancer of the cells. It could have been cured if you had sought medical care. I know. But she's almost dead, even as you speak. Thanks to you, the doctor was arrested at the gate. He stands trial tomorrow. Your Highness, it's your son, the Prince. He informed me of the Queen's ailment and pleaded with me to come and examine her. What kind of examination did you conduct on my wife, the Queen? And what did you find? I asked her a few questions and based on the answers she gave me, I examined her. I examined her abdomen and then conducted a VE. What is VE? It's none of your business, Oluma. Answer the question. Your Highness, it is the kind of examination that allows you to assess the abdomen and the cervix through the birth canal. Your Highness, this doctor here has committed an abominable act. Are you telling me 
that being a doctor gives you the right to toy with another man's wife. Anyhow, let alone the queen, the doctor here did that on pure professional ground. And so what? Where are our gods? I just can't believe that your mother laid there for this imbecile to thrust his filthy fingers into her private parts. You are being too vulgar, father. What about my traditional ethics? What about that? Did he consider that? Oh, in fact, I don't blame him. I blame you. Yes, a son who decides to embark on an act of disobedience towards his father, that is an offense. The next act is an abomination. That is the truth. We have to consult the oracles. If not, a case will befall this land. You are too backward, Onima. Why do you always predict negative things? These are the realities of the land. Yes, my lord. Your Majesty, heed the voice of the oracles. Allowing another man to touch you is adultery, says the gods. The oracles have pronounced death on you. I, Onuma, custodian of the oracles of Jomoro Kingdom, has spoken. Princess, the agony, pain and misery that torment my body each day is enough to warrant death. I see your pronouncement as a blessing in disguise. Hasting the gods, call them to action. Fare thee well, my queen. I wonder why the good ones cannot be forever spared. Only the cause have answers to that. Greetings, mother. Greetings, my daughter. Call me the prince. Tell him his mother, his beloved mother, our queen, desires his presence immediately. It shall be well with you, my son. Listen very carefully, my son. I know very soon I'm going to die. You know the outcome of the doctor's visit to my chamber. You're not going to die. Pay attention to what I'm about to tell you, son. When I die, 
never allowed a thousand men to perform any ritual on my body. He said, it's great to my memory. Take me to a faraway priest and then. Anyway. Mother, no. Mother. I'll do anything for you. With all I've got. Even if it takes my last breath. I promise to stand beside Sonny in all this. My daughter, be with him always. Sonny, join her, let me bless you both. Mother. I know that God will help you oh, to give me a good resting place. <laughs> Mother. Mother. I will not have you touch the memory of my mother. What do you mean by she committed adultery? It is tradition. What must be done, must be done. What happens when tradition loses its values? Not lose its importance, Father. And who changes it? You, the king. Oh, yes. The king. And tradition, I will protect. Your mother's body must undergo these purification rites before it can be buried. Then, my mother will not be buried. Even in death, you will not let her be. Father, why? I will not let you drag her name in the mud. It's my bar. Get out, you deceitful witch. Stay away from my mother's remains. Without your devilish right. Sonny. Sonny. You are just but a small boy. Small boy. My plan tonight is to take my mother's body to an unknown land for burial. What? Oh. 
How are you going to do this? You know her body will be heavily guarded by now. Leave the execution to me. Mary, promise me. Promise me you'll go with me. I have made arrangements so we can visit the big city where greater opportunities await us right after the funeral. Okay. I'll meet you tonight. May the gods light your path in your sailing quest for a peaceful abode for your late mother. away is a risk. Taking you with me worsens the situation. Why are you saying this? I promise your mother will stand beside you at all times. Indeed you have. But at this point, I beg you to go back to your family. Remember, you are just my betrothed. So I do not have complete authority over you, ma'am. I will not go. Sunny, I will not. You know the implications of my return to Jomoro. I cannot face the wrath of the gods and the throne, so I will not go back. Where are the gods? Where were they when my mother laid in pain for two years? Mama, I don't blame you. You are just one of them. Go. Go back to your people. To your gods and your royalty. You betrayed me, son. You have rather betrayed my belief in you, Mama. How could you mention the gods? When I'm fighting the oracles and traditional beliefs of my fathers. You're confusing yourself here. The fact that you do not believe in the traditional practices and values of your father does not mean there are no gods. There are gods. And they are true gods. Real ones. Our forefathers lived all their lives by their words. So what is wrong if you do the same? Everything is wrong, Mayama. I give myself to old, outmoded traditional values for the sake of the throne it's definitely not my style. You are not yet the king. And you cannot change the traditions of the people. Even your father the king will not. You are contradicting yourself, woman. Go back to your people. And pay homage to your gods. Sunny, I'll go. I'll return to Jomoro. But remember, this... It's not the end of the story. You look gorgeous in your dress. 
Thanks, my lord. <laughs> Dad. Yeah? I am on my way out. Where exactly are you going to? Um, I'm going to watch a movie at the cinema. Don't stay out too long. Okay, mom. I'll see you later, daddy. Okay. Bye, mom. Have a nice day. My lord, there is a visitor here to see you. All right. So we need to go and see the visitor here. Let's see you there. What kind of life is this? Greetings. When men are Your living Lordship. in the past, why should tradition Who are you? And what brought you to my compound? I, heard of human life. I come in peace. They say even you are not if die, I'm from a faraway land and I've come to seek your help. The customs of a man. Oh, why? Oh, why? Someone tell me why. It's my marine. Take a seat, stranger. Thank you, My name is Sam. My mother was stricken by a dreadful disease. After two years of battling with the disease, I was informed of a powerful herbalist in a very far away land. On my way to seek for her cure, my mother died. Your Lordship, since this is the nearest town, I decided to come and beg of you to give me a place to bury my mother. Death is a necessary end that will reach every human being. When it happens in this form, it leaves one wondering what the world we live in. Young man, where is your mother's remains? In the shrubs at the outskirts of the town. Why don't you embalm the body and return her to her homeland so she can find rest among her people? Your Lordship, my mother's last wish was to bury her wherever she dies. I plead in all humility, Your Lordship, to grant that wish. Soma? Yes, my Lord. Take this stranger to the guest chamber. Find him something to eat. Let him change his clothes and let him rest. After, I will talk to him. Thank you very much, Your Lordship. Thank you, Your Lordship. The stranger's request is shrouded in some mystery. My sentiments, exactly. In this time and age, when medical treatment is available in all remote kingdoms, and one will be seeking an herbalist who lives miles, miles away from his town, there is something wrong here. I must follow.
my lady. Who are you? I'm Sunny. What are you doing here? Who led you in here? This is my father's compound. And anybody found in here without any official invitation is considered an intruder. I don't think a young and handsome prince like you wants to be malhandled. I'm not a prince. Your father asked me to come. I'm a stranger. Wow. You are very handsome. And you're dressed like a prince. My bad. <laughs> Wait. I hope you're not up to some arranged mischief, my father. You're very polite. The name of my princess is Ketura. You can call me Tura. <laughs> so, where are you from and what brought you here? I'm a distressed traveler passing through your kingdom. I came to your father for help and he willingly accepted me. Once he grants my wish, I'll pay homage with all the gratitude I have, even if I have to serve in this kingdom to appease the favor done me. In all humility, I will. Mm -hmm. I could talk to my father to let you stay here, but not as a servant. <laughs> You're amazing, princess. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments, but I am not a princess. Okay, I have to go to my chamber now. I'll see you later. tradition of the land. Hold yourself.
Where did I go wrong? Understand me, where did I go wrong? Did I not obey the words of the gods? Did I not practice the traditions and the customs of this land? Where did I go wrong? Tell me, where did I go wrong? I need the burden of my wife. I need to bury my wife as befits the burden of the mother kingdom. Save the entire kingdom and look for the body of the day. My lord, we cannot search the entire kingdom. That will be our story. That the entire royal home of the kingdom of Jumoro cannot find the queen. No, we cannot keep the body of Queen Sabrina. That is absolute negligence and betrayal of royalty. Rather, we have to consult the oracle. In order to keep this as a secret for now, the two guards have been arrested and placed in custody. So, in this secret, can be kept within the confines of this palace between you, the elders, and you, your highness. My lord, can't you not find answers to this mystery? Mother. Greetings, my daughters. Mother, life seems to be urgent out of your walking stick. May it please you to use my shoulder as a support pad to take you to the comfort of your chambers. Oh, thank you, my daughter. Greetings, your lordship. I bow at your presence. It is said that he who gives water gives life. May you live long, your highness. May your generations flourish with the bounty of Mother Earth. Graceful Mother Kiara, I lay at your feet to your tenderness. Live long, your grace. Ketura, your beauty beholds the land like the morning sun. Your smiles and love, like the streams that flow through the kingdom and quench the thirst of your subjects. I behold you, Ketura. Up on your feet, my son. I was a distressed stranger, and you helped me, my lord. I'm here to pay homage. I may not be able to afford if asked to pay. Even if I can, 
Your assistance to me is priceless. I bow in gratitude. <laughs> Dine with us at dinner tonight. The stewards will take you to the garden. I am delighted and honored. Omina, what did the gods say? Let us know. I have already told my king. Look for Prince Sami in faraway land. When you find him, you will see the body of Queen Sabrina. What are you insinuating? Priestess or Mama? I am not insinuating. I am telling you. Go in pursuit of Prince Sami. Your Highness, I beg to leave. Take a short rest, Your Highness. We will be back. I will not take a rest. Take four strong guards. Send them out. To all the kingdoms scattered along the borders in search of the prince. Send the words by sunrise. So, Sunny, mm. tell us about your people. Mm. See, our way of living is slightly different. My people are hardcore traditionalists. Our customs and traditions are practiced just the way they were handed down. True Africans, eh? <laughs> we are true Africans as well, Father. But we do not practice all the stiff customs and traditions of our forefathers, do we? My son, Africa is known for its rich cultures, traditions, delicacies and vegetation, and mineral resources. We have not benefited from our mineral resources because of the fact that we have refused to change with the changing times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hooking on to outmoded traditions, which will not help and have not helped. <clears throat> hmm. 
the world is changing. So must we. I am an African, a governor, richest and the most powerful in this kingdom. <laughs> Yet, all through the years, I have discarded and adopted different values, practices, customary and traditional beliefs. And it has worked perfectly well. Mm. Say that again. To many people, especially strangers like you. Traditionally, who were you to dine with us? Sacrilege. <laughs> taboo. <laughs> abomination. They would have labeled it. Yes. But times have changed. Mm. <laughs> you are blessed, your lordship. May you be exalted among people. As the sun rises and shines on the whole world, so shall your beliefs be. I pray all the rulers of nations will meet you, including my people, and most especially my father. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll leave to my people tomorrow. I'll come and bid your highness goodbye. Good night, Kichika. My lord, mm. why did you invite that stranger to our table? <laughs> Is it about Ketula? You will not understand. But one day you will. My beauty is not about Ketula, but I see something unique about that young man. <laughs> My daughter gets overexcited about that stranger. <laughs> Let's leave that to faith. Maybe she is seeing what I'm seeing. There's no need for you to worry. It's late. Let's go to sleep, okay? <laughs> I'm sure you will understand it one day, okay? When is the royal wedding? Which royal wedding? I heard the queen is severely ill and might die. So who will be planning the royal wedding? Did you notice Mariama has disappeared for a day or two and has appeared again? Maybe she went with the prince on a prayer honeymoon. What bothers me is that her mood has changed. She doesn't greet anyone and does not even return greetings either. Maybe she has been given a sack. But has anyone seen the prince in town these past few days? Someone told me he saw the prince and Mariam at the outskirts of town a night ago. Who is that? Please, don't spread any unconfirmed news. I beg you. Are you afraid? You started it all. satisfied yes thank you father but mm, where is the prince father why do you ask i was with my friends earlier in the day and they lamented the absence of the prince for the past few days what did they implied father you know the prince is our idol so we always keep an eye on him i admire him a lot he is courageous friendly and down to earth. I was in the palace today and the prince was there. It's just that he's slightly indisposed. Somebody said he saw the prince and Mariama at the outskirts of town a couple of nights ago. Mariama, she must have answers to some questions. Father and son, what are you talking about? Men's talk. Where is Mariama? Have anyone seen her around? Yes, she is in town. Will you people stop talking now? Have you seen her? No, father. But my friend said she was out of town for about a day or two. But she is back now. My lord, I saw her in a very pensive mood. But, as you said, it may be due to the fact that the prince is not feeling well. <sighs> oh, young lovers. How I wish I was young again. Women. Wishes and dreams. Oh, you can't cease amazing me. What kind of life is this? When men are living in the past Why should traditions be placed ahead of human life?
they say even if we die we will obey the customs of our land oh why oh, 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 this morning I'm running out of breath. The queen in waiting, Princess Marema, knows the whereabouts of the prince. What? My lord, please take it easy. Unconfirmed reports indicate that Princess Marema and the prince were seen at the outskirts of the town on the night the queen's body vanished. It is also rumored that Marema vanished from this town for about a day. A day before yesterday, she was seen back in town, but this time in a very pensive mood. Oh, Mariama. Bona? Your Highness, take two guards. Go to the house of Mariama. And summon her with her parents to my presence this minute. At your command, Your Highness. help you. The king sent me to you. He asked me to escort your daughter, you and your wife, to the palace at once. Is there any problem? I have spoken. Okay. We shall join you outside. I will be waiting. I can't tell. You know mother is not around. Yes. But we shall find out when we get to the palace. Go and put the glass down so that we can go. Young woman. Reliable sources indicate that you were last seen with the prince. The night before yesterday. I do not know what you're talking about, Your Highness. When was your last meeting with the Prince? Sometime last week. He told me he'll be traveling, so I did not bother to look for him up till now. That's a lie, young woman. Why do you lie before the King, the throne, and the gods? Speak up, and it had better be the truth. <laughs> Bill. Yes, Your Highness. Take your daughter home. Get the truth from her. And bring me back words. You may go now. Remember, we seek the truth. The gods will strike you dead if you don't speak the truth. Hmm. I am the most confused person on earth. Put my ears head today at the palace. My mind cannot comprehend. Will you tell us what is going on? My daughter, kindly throw some light on what has happened. I cannot bear the wrath of the gods. Please talk to us. What is the problem? Eh? 
what is it that you are not telling us? Um, please, talk to us now. <laughs> Mona? Yes, my lord. Bring them in. I'm ready to hear what they have to say. Yes, your highness. What have you got to tell us? We're all ears. Your Highness, my elders, our fathers say the housefly that does not listen to advice always follows the corpse to the grave. And that is exactly what happened to my daughter. Gabriel, go straight to the point. My daughter admitted that the prince took the queen with them on a journey to another kingdom. But along the way, he asked her to return because she was not yet his wife. So she could not embark on the journey with him. And that is the truth. You mean the prince took the body of the dead queen to a strange land? Exactly. Oh. Hmm. Kabil, you may leave. Thank you, Your Highness. Sasan! Sasan! Not put your daughter. Bona? Yes, my lord. Detain her. I can sense some lies in her statement. Strip her of all her royal regalia and return them back to the royal wardrobe. She no longer bears any royal status in this kingdom. Take her away. The gods have never failed me, and they will not fail me. I said it, but for want of listening ears, my words were thrown to the birds. My king, we have to pursue the body of Queen Sabrina. We will all go to the neighboring nations and retrieve the body of the queen. If they had buried her, we will exhume the body immediately. Sacrilege! Abomination! How can a royal find rest among strangers? That is unheard of. We will go. We have to go. We will go. We have to retrieve the body. Order! What kind of life is this? We we'll first find the living before we start thinking of what to do with the dead. The prince, my son. Heir to the throne of Jomoro must be sought after first. Come, you will lead the mission in pursuit of my son, the prince. My king, I want to go with them in pursuit of Queen Sabrina, the dead queen of Jomoro Kingdom. Remember, we owe the gods her corpse, and they are waiting. Let them wait! I need to find my son. First, we find the living before we think of what to do with the dead. Calamity. Calamity, my king. I sense calamity. Traditions. At modern customs, they're living in the past.
past And it's costing their life Bye -bye. Father, my heart is troubled What is the matter? The stranger He wishes to leave Please, Father, allow him to stay a little while longer there's something about him that makes me feel fulfilled whenever I'm with him. Please, do not think otherwise, Father. Just grant my wish. You are the only offspring of my lineage. But I also feel something special about this stranger. But a stranger is a stranger. His appearance in this kingdom is shrouded in so much strangeness and secrecy. I will grant your request on condition that you stay safe. Be careful. I will, Father. I will alert all the seals and attendants to watch out for this stranger. Thank you, Father. I'm very grateful. I know you'll be grateful. My Lord. Some elders seek your presence. They claim they are from Jumoro Kingdom. Hold him. Yes, my lord. Let me speak to the strangers, okay? Excuse me, sir. Please, don't call me, sir. My princess. Okay. So how do you want me to address you then? I am not a princess. I am not royal. My father is a ruler of this land by virtue of nomination and it is an appointment. You can call me son. Is that what you are called or what you want me to call you? I want you to call me son. Okay. Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> What does it mean? Like, what's the meaning of Sunny? It means I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I like your name. Thanks. Okay. Um, anyway, guess what? What? I asked my father and he said you can stay for a little while before you head back. Please. I need to go back to my people. They have to know what happened. Please stay. My father wants you to stay. I owe your father a big favor. But I owe my people a report. I can always come back to Asimo land. I owe you my love. I will pay back with all my love. I can always come back to this house. Always come and see you, Ketura. But please, I need to go. Don't go. Please. Ketura. Please. Please let me go. I promise to be back. Lord Matane, our elders say that when the wind blows from the east to the west, it is believed to be following the sun. But any time it blows from the west to the east, it sets a lot of minds wondering as to where it is coming from and where it is going to. Can you leave the proverbs and speak in plain language? The citizens of this land, especially the youth, are outraged. They are angry and on the verge of revolt. Why are they angry? They are angry because their leader has disappointed them. He has shamefully scorned them and they are crying for his blood. What 
Still, the allegations against you are so treacherous that there's no way you can defend yourself. You can hear war songs, revolutionary chanting. The youth of this time are marching towards the palace. Lord Matanga, it is alleged that the night before yesterday, you were still burying somebody alive. And this unravels the secret behind your wealth, power, and supremacy in this land. Allegation of murder? Batanga and Medra? Come on, others of a similar. You can always replace me as the governor of this kingdom if you so wish. Why do you come with false and treacherous allegations against me? We speak the truth. The evidence we have is a strong indication of the truth. Put your case right now, before the arrival of the outrageous guilt of this town. The sound of the royal can be heard from my father. Tell it to my ears once again that you speak the truth. Don't pretend, woman. Don't ever pretend. Before anything, hand over the keys to the army to me. Come back here, woman. Sit down. Okay. Sit down. Kajura. Sorry. Take Kajura away. Escape from this province. Travel far away. Travel as fast as your legs can carry you. Take care to wherever you came from. Ah, please, let them be safe. Go! My lord, what is going on? One day the truth will exonerate me. If I survive, I will tell the story across nations and kingdoms. But if not, I'm sure you're going to hear about it wherever you are. Take her away! No, 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 no I'm not leaving. I don't know what's happening. She's my only friend and my only leader. Go! Go! No, 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 no,
confusing laws at the turn of events. Why would the people of Asimbo turn against my father suddenly? Why? What happened? Tell me, Sunny. Tell me what happened because I'm in total darkness. What happened? Nigeria, I'm in a state of shock myself. Look, we cannot leave this village until we unravel this mysterious mystery. Let me go up to the town and find us something to write. Okay. Okay. What's happening to me? Just yesterday, I was the happiest woman on earth. And today, here I sit, a fugitive running for my life. I hope to wake up to see this turns out to be a dream. You heard that the governor of Asimbolan has been exposed? That rich man whose daughter lives the most affluent life in the land? Disgrace of the highest order. Could you believe that? The man kills his own townsmen for ritual purposes. Ah! But three days ago, all his civil days came to an end when he was spotted burying someone alive. Burying someone alive? Yes, burying someone alive. Huh. Nobody knows the identity of the woman, but the body has been assumed. <sighs> but the woman is said to be the ages of 5052. <sighs> he was made to carry the decomposed body all over Simulat. Oh, my dear, I wonder if that man will ever survive the, the disgrace of his life. The mom sees the wife, and nobody could trace the whereabouts. As at the time, the husband was being paraded through the, through the land. The daughter's whereabouts is not known yet. But some of the townsmen sworn to look for her. And some of them even wanted to follow her, look for her. But they returned along the way when night fell. Wonders shall never end, my dear. Wonders shall never end. Huh. Sorry. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Where are my parents? Where are they? How can I abandon them in my homeland and follow a total stranger? Hmm. Hmm. Sunny. Sunny. He's bad news. I must return to Asimo immediately. Kitura! Leave me alone! Who are you? Who the hell are you? You walked into my life and all of a sudden my life is filled with misery. I don't even know where my parents are and I have no idea what the hell I'm going to. Kitura, I'm taking you with me to Jomoro. Jomoro Kingdom is where I come from and that's where you'll be till the route subsides in Asimo land. Then return as what? A coward or as a heroine? Tell me, Sunny, tell me! Dura, calm down. Look, don't do anything to raise suspicions in this land. Who cares? Who cares? Dura, Dura listen. Look, the news. The news of the route is all over this place. Ketura, calm down. I'll protect you. Look, I'll be with you always. We have to leave here immediately to Jomoro. You don't mean it. This late? Ketura, the place is not too far from here. Look, we can start a journey now. Right? By sunrise, we'll be there. 
Are you sure? Yes. But that's it. from the kingdom of Jomuru in search of our prince, the sole heir to the throne of the kingdom. What makes you believe your prince is here? You see, a week ago, the queen of the kingdom died after a battle with a dreaded disease. There was a conflict between the prince and our king. One night, the prince dragged the guards and stole his mother's body with the intention of burying her in an unknown place. Investigations conducted by our elders revealed that the prince brought his mother's body to Asimolat. Strange as it is, uh, we will consult with some of our townsmen so that we can investigate this story. The steward will give you water to drink and food to eat so you can rest a while and uh, uh, freshen up. While uh, we will meet our people and uh, we will investigate it again. Okay. Uh, what did you say is the name of your prince? Prince Sunny. Bedu! Yes, my lord. Take this elder to the guest chamber and stay with him. Eh? We'll call him later. We are in real trouble. What trouble? We didn't kill the prince. Matanga did. That is why his ills are being exposed. You are very shallow-minded. Hmm? Don't draw up conclusions just like that. Um, I think we should call in some of the stewards and the attendants and try to get some information from them. Maybe we can be able to help this stranger. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> you are the head steward in this house, is that right? Yes, my lord. Did Lord Matanga host any visitor in this house in the last few days? Speak! Yes, yes our lord. lord. Did you by any chance know his name? My lord, I am not so sure, but I once heard the governor's daughter call him Sunny. They were very close. Did you find out the mission of the stranger? Not really. On the day of his arrival, Lord Matanga asked me to mobilize four men to dig a trench at a cemetery. That night, Lord Matanga and the stranger visited the dog pit. Thank you. You may leave. Thank you, our lords.
the gods of our ancestors will not forgive this land. And the spirit of our ancestors will never forgive us. We have been misled by the story which implicated Lord Matanga and led to his subsequent arrest and murder. So what do we tell the stranger? Simple. We just tell him that we don't know the prince he's talking about. After causing these atrocities, do you still want to lie? Hmm? As for me, I want to speak the truth. Do you know the implication of that truth? Okay, tell me. Do you know where the prince is? As for me, I don't want to incur the wrath of the Jomoro kingdom. And as you see me, I'm on my way. We are both contributors to this crisis. Therefore, we have to stay and bear the shame. Okay. Stop me if you can. Welcome back, my elder. Um, I hope you had a good rest. Thank you, my elders, for the hospitality. I hope we all know why we are here. So I will go straight to the point. Our investigation reveals that a couple of days ago, your prince was in this kingdom. However, there was a revolt and uh, it is believed that he fled for his dear life. As I'm talking to you now, I believe he's on his way back to his homeland. Ah, at least I know my prince is alive. As long as there's no proof of him being killed in the revolt. Not at all. I believe he's safely on his way home. But there is something else. I would like you to know. The revolt and the riot in this kingdom was caused by your prince. My prince? How? Yes, your prince brought a corpse to this kingdom, which I presume was that of your queen. Our governor helped in burying her. Actually, that sparked off the riot. But things are calm now. And one day, I believe your prince, Sunny will tell you actually what happened. My elders, I thank you very much. But I would like to return back to Jomoro and inform my king and my king's men about this. We shall surely return to see how best we resolve this matter. No, you can't go. We will keep you hostage because it is believed that your prince is in custody of the governor's daughter, the Liketura, and she must be returned to Asimoland. My elders, I came in peace, mm -hmm. and I would like to return and inform my king about this issue. I shall surely return. Bedu! Yes, my lord. Lock up this man in the guest chamber. What kind of life is this when men are living in the past? Why should traditions be placed ahead of human life? They say even if we die, we will obey. Young lady. The customs of our men. How are you? I am fine. Hurry up. Why are you doing this to yourself? Tell me the whereabouts of the prince, so I can set you free. My lord, I have no idea. Hmm. Mariam, this is the king. He has the right to set you free, or let you rot in here. So, speak out. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Mariana. The more you stay here, the more you lose your right as future queen of Jumoro Kingdom. Think about that. Mariama. Mariama. My lord. Kingdom, the sole heir to the throne. Onuma, Onuma, do not mock my royalty, my kingdom, or my son. The prince just arrived. Say that to my hearing again.
set the prisoner free. She is free! Was my son, the head to the throne, has returned to me. <laughs> Which prisoner? Mariama. She was incarcerated because she refused to tell us your whereabouts. What? Mariama? A, a prisoner? Oh, don't you worry. After all, she is free. <laughs> she is free. Don't worry. I, I am worried. I need to worry. I'll go see her at once. Uh. <laughs> My lord, I do not envy your excitement at the arrival of your son. But there are questions you are not asking. Because I need answers. Where is the body of Queen Sabrina? I need to welcome my son first. At least, that will bring some happiness to my household. <laughs> Let us celebrate the return of the heir to the throne. What kind of life is this when men are living in the past? Why should traditions be placed ahead of human life? They say even if we die, we will obey the customs of our land. Oh, why? Oh, why? Someone tell me why. It's barbary. Traditions out of death, customs, they are living in the past. Come hold me, come touch me, feel the heartbeat of a sweet prince. You didn't want to love my love, love you to the end. I want to spend the rest of my life holding you as my wife. You're the only dream that I have I love you to the bone Wanna spend the rest of my life Holding you as my wife You're the only dream that I have Love you to the bone Spend the rest of my life Holding you as my wife You're the only dream that I have I love you to the bone Wanna spend the rest of my life Holding you as my wife You're the only dream that I have Love you to the bone You're the one I've been Escape from this. 
this process. Travel far away. Travel as fast as your legs can carry you. They get to wherever you came from. But please, let them be safe. Go! <laughs> Yes, we'll soon arrive. Father. Royalty, I was made to believe, is full of happiness, fulfillment, and honor. But through these years, standing by what I believe, have been full of battle misery and pain. Father, I cannot fist in this state. Sonny, my son, heir to the throne of Jomoro, I did not ask you questions. Neither did I chastise you when you returned. I don't understand. I don't understand. Or is it about your conscience or guilt as a result of your actions? My son, do not brood. At the right time, we will talk. Right time. The right time is now. And that reminds me. You arrived with a lady. Who is she? How do we place her? Father, Ketura is the love of my life. She risks her life to save me because of the love that she has for me. Father, I owe Ketura my endless love. Oh, I don't understand this. I do not understand this. What about your betrothed? Father, you reduced her status to a mere prisoner. So shall she be. Son, my son, I don't understand this. At the feast, call it off. Father, I need to find myself. The palace looks so strange to me. I feel like a total stranger. Sonny. Sonny, my son. This is your home. Your kingdom. Your inheritance. Go out there and find your destiny. You never told me you're a prince. You have a problem with that. You're royalty. Why did you hide your identity from me? What is wrong with that? I'm the prince of Jamoro Kingdom. That's all. and trustworthy but I don't know who you are anymore because just yesterday you were a mere commoner today you're a glamorous prince I could renounce my throne you know oh, that's funny <laughs> Sonny Grandma you're here yes can I see you alone 
Yeah. All right. To uh, excuse me for a while. You don't look too good. Are you okay? Sunny, I am sick. And it looks like symptoms of early pregnancy. What? We, we are not married yet. And please, please, keep quiet. I'll come over to your house and we'll talk about it, okay? Are you sure? I promise. I'll be waiting. Miriam, are you sure you're pregnant? Yes, I'm very sure, Your Highness. Rest your spirit. Don't be sad. At the right time, what needs to be done will be done. Take this for your upkeep. I will be back. Just left here. Is there a problem? No problem. Just an ordinary visit. Indeed, true. I traveled with my mother's friends. But father, the 
a lot of things happen on the way. So much that you, Father, I crave your indulgence to let your elder be this one. Elder, I do not mean to disregard you, but I wish to talk with your father. As to the word about of my mother's cause, my king, it is perfect. I arrived in a similar land with my mother's mother. I sought for help from the governor of a land, Lord Montana. And he helped me very well. The result was rout and false assertions that led to the overthrow of the government. His daughter, who I managed to save and escape with his kitchen. Father, I owe my kingdom, but I owe the entire civil land. You have soiled the faces of the oracles, the faces that guided your father's fathers and guides your father. How dare you walk in here on me? Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings. Onuma, excuse me. I need to speak with my father in law. What is it that you want to talk about that I don't know already? I pity you, son. You are so self centered that you don't care about your brother. Chocolates of the throne that you aspire to ascend. Say one more word. And your oracles will spend the next few days trying to replace your lost evil woman. Hey! You call me evil woman? My king, talk to your son. You will not, Numa, not this time. You left this kingdom almost married to my young. Yet, you could not keep yourself for a few days. You had the disgusting nerves to walk into this house with a new woman. What about the one you left behind? She will be pain in this waste. Yes. 
Sunny. 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 Won't you eat? So what exactly do you want to do to her parents? I want you to keep her out of the reach of praying eyes, especially my father and Christus Uma, until she delivers her. Life. Are you implying she stays with me for that long? Yes, no. Don't worry. I'll take care of her patients. And you will be well remembered. Have you sought the consent of no, but I certainly will. My prince, I don't want to do anything that will put me at loggerheads with your father in the town again. Hold me, please. I can't. True. All right, arrange for her to be brought. Thanks, Doctor. I knew I could count on you. You're welcome, my prince. I'll take you. The strength of the youth and the speed of the gallant horse in the room. It is such that not even a tempest would reach. Stop in the past of what you want. But when trees fall on trees, the topmost is first room. Can it be so in the prevailing situation? In the Muru Kingdom? this palace and return to your homeland. Only royals live here. Oh, oh, 
the prince will not marry you because his royalty does not permit it. What has royalty got to do with love, your worship? Blue blood flows only in the veins of royals, and you are not one. I beg to leave your presence, your worship. Sima, take her out. Well, my maiden, following the circumstances surrounding the past events of recent months, your marriage to Prince Sun has been happening. However, as customs demand, we cannot let you off empty. So, on behalf of the throne, I'm presenting to you these gifts. Take them, use them, and open another chapter. Hold yourself. The gods are with you. Thank you, my king. And others of Jamaica. I appreciate this. I'll forever cherish this day for the rest of my life. Live long in your eyes. Okay, with their gates. you here. I'm also honored for granting me this audience after all that your daughter has been through because of me. The will of the gods will always prevail. It is well, my son. With all pleasure, ma'am. Well, your highness, if I may ask, what brings you here this afternoon? I know by now, all the years in this household, are aware of the turn of events. But there is more left between your daughter and I that neither ears nor eyes are aware of. She bears my son. My lord, come again. Indeed. Mariama is carrying my child. Until she puts to birth, I will not set a date for my marriage to Ketura. My lord, two of you were not supposed to know each other until marriage. You know the laws of our land. My daughter could be put to death if it reaches the royal ear. Be calm, woman. I am the Prince of Jomoro Kingdom. I will protect her. But to do this, I need your help. Your Majesty, we are at your service. I 
I have arranged to have a leave with my doctor friend without anybody's knowledge except those of us here until she delivers. Not even Onoma, the priestess of this land, should know this. Now, this is for her upkeep until she delivers. Thank you, wise one. May you live long. May your reign be extended to eternity. Your Highness, we are highly honored. I will take leave of you now. But remember, your lips are tied to the secret. We promise to keep the secret. Lessons and supports. Married a friends. You see, if destiny has it that I shall not be the next queen of tomorrow, no matter what it takes, it will never come to pass. I do not believe that is destiny. It's just a twist of fate. I wish to leave this kingdom so that you can make peace with your husband. We are not married. <laughs> married a prince. It will make him happy. Please reciprocate his love for you. Are you sure he genuinely loves me? Yes, he does. And are you sure 
you are ready to let go? Yes, I am. Remember, what will be will surely be. May God bless you and your entire generation yet unborn. Katura, that is well. I beg to leave now. studying a course that would guarantee you a better future? So you threw all that away just because it's in your family lineage to provide a person to serve in a king's household. Modern ideas. Modern ideas. Natura, come with me. Why are you taking her to? To the shrine of our gods. What? Am I now a prisoner of the gods? When we get there, you will find out. I smell trouble. Real trouble. Wait a mother. Sit down. Let's 
Traditions be played. Of human Let me see Kichu. No, my lord. I haven't seen her. Have you checked her chambers? Let me go there right now. Look for her and find her. Else the rebels will visit us right in our rooms. And we'll be wondering because there are no leakages in our That's your command, your highness. They are living in the past, and it's costing their lives. Barbaric traditions out modern customs. They are living in the past, and it's costing their lives. Mommy, I'm in serious trouble. Are you looking for the maiden you have chosen to be your wife? Yes, Mommy. I, I can't find her. Go to the shrine of Onoma. You will find her. All right, Mommy. Thank you very much. My prince. Be very, very careful. Oh no, man can be dangerous. Thank you, man. They say even if we try, we will love oh, What is it, Sunny? The custom suffer. Bring out Ketura. Else I'll bend down in your deceitful shrine. Oh, someone <laughs> tell me why. Sunny. It's my body. You amaze me. Who told you I am afraid of a real mortal prince? And what makes you think I am weak? I have seen pain. I have seen sorrow. I have seen death. But none of them could overpower me. Not an empty threat from a woman can stand the weight in my heart. Don't try anything stupid. Or you will incur the wrath of the gods. Yes, gods. You are trying my patience. What patience? What patience? Don't you know? Okay. What is it? Uh -huh. 
How are you? I'm fine. You're still thinking. My examination shows that you are not in your early month of pregnancy. I don't understand. You are approaching the eighth month already. What? How come I didn't notice it earlier? And I still had my menstrual flow until last month. In some few cases, that's happening. Yes. You can still be experiencing your menstruation, even in your pregnancy. How come it is so when my mother told me otherwise? That is why I said, in some few cases. In any case, pregnancy tests are bound in almost every health facility. You could have also well gone to check. How could I have gone for such a test when I didn't notice any occurrence within me to warrant it? You were not observant enough. If you were, you would have noticed something else apart from the stop of your menstrual flow. So, when do I expect my baby to be born? The baby could arrive any day after the eighth month. Have you told the prince about it? I have not, but I have a... Don't think, okay? Okay. But I believe you're taking your medication. Yeah. Okay. Everything will be alright, okay? Okay. I'll be inside. Alright. I will leave the two of you. I believe you have some intimate discussion to make. Excuse me. Oh. How is the baby? He is speaking vigorously. As he wants to break down the walls of home. How did he know it's a baby? After the countless countess. But he never told me. I prevailed on him to tell me. I'll tell you the right <laughs> And in your reasoning, this is that supposed right time again. <laughs> okay. right the doctor said you put to bed, so you didn't prevail on him not to tell me that too. to return to Jomoro. Events that led to my capture and subsequent release requires a better time to be told because my story is very long and terrifying. This is Lord Matanga, governor of Asimoland and father of Lady Ketura, whom I believe is in this kingdom with Prince Sunny. Matanga, governor of Asimoland. 
here in my palace. Oh. Oh. Oh, sit. I'm honored. Sit. I'm honored. King of Tomorrow Kingdom. This is your kingdom. Come not to me. I have to come to you. I bow at your presence. Be exalted. Ah, oh, Lord Matanga. Lord Matanga, my king is ready to know your mission. King Jomo, ruler of Jomoro Kingdom. I come in peace with two missions. First, I have returned the body of your queen so that she can find peace amongst her own people. Wife? The remains of my wife! Where is the body? Oh! Lord Matanga, thank you so much. May the gods lay their hands on you. Wife, the queen, at least I can give her a befitting funeral, befitting enough for a queen. Second, I intend to return with my cherished daughter, Kichira, to our homeland. Kichira? Right here, father. Father! Are you okay? No, I should rather be asking you. My princess, are you alright? Yes, father, very fine. Sunny here has been taking very good care of me. Lord Matanga, you're welcome. Thank you. Father, your plans have failed. Failed indeed! Shut up! The grief you have over us under the auspice of the gods is broken today. Henceforth, you will be confined to your chambers until such a time when you shall be publicly stripped of your powers. Are you relegating my status in this kingdom? Oh, 
very sorry. But I have to go back to my heart. I'll always remember you. Always. My lord, the vehicle has been arranged. Lord Batanga, I'd like to use this opportunity to thank you for what I may say in your August visit. Thank you so much, and may the gods be with you and Katura. Play 